I cannot really wrap my head around this where I say okay fine at this point I know that I'm greedy for say experiences and I want I want to go out and maybe get a massage for myself or you know maybe so once I've understood that I am greedy for experiences and I'm seeking a new experience that then means that I'm supporting that so how well so how exactly am I understanding this to a point where like Jiddu says when you understand fear you are no you are fearless then so what is this understanding? you're not greedy for experience you're greedy for what the experience would purportedly bring to you the experiencer wants fulfillment and that's what the experience promises to bring him it's not the experience that is paramount but the promise and it's okay to buy into a promise sometimes. But then don't you want to verify whether the promise has been kept? You bought into a promise. You got yourself a massage. Has the promise been kept? Has the massage delivered what it promised to? That's what you should verify. Obviously. Obviously, because that's that's what is making you invest yourself in all these experiences. If you are paying for each of these experiences, don't you want to verify each of the bills? Or would you say, should I verify one bill? Or each of them? You paid for each of these experiences, didn't you? You paid with your time, your energy, your life, your money. What have these experiences really brought you? What if the promises are not kept? Don't buy again into them. Blacklist the massage parlor. <laughs> hmm? Maybe if you still are carrying hope, a point may come when you get disillusioned with massage parlors as such. Now you know that none of these shops are any good. It was not about one particular shop, it was about the very breed of these shops. They don't keep their promises. Or do they? Get a massage. <laughs> so how much do I push this experience, investigation, um, and to what point should I push it? And I mean, so that the experiencer rests. Do you ask this when you count currency to pay in a shop? Don't you check and sometimes double check every time you make a payment? The thing was worth rupees 276. You held out a rupees 500 note. Don't you count how much has you have been received back? And don't you count it again when a similar thing happens? And again and again and every time it happens? It's your precious money. You're talking about life. How many times do you want to check? Every time. Every moment. You have given a, away a part of yourself irretrievably. Is the last minute ever going to return? You just expended a minute of your life in seeking a particular experience. Is that minute ever going to return? Now before you expend the next minute, don't you want to check?
do we appreciate the loss that is called time or do we live as if we are immortal no? the fact of death is strongly repressed is that how we lived it was not without reason that saints always reminded you of death if they don't remind you of death then you keep throwing yourself away wasting yourself away as if you have infinite resources especially in finite time the fact of your life as a person is you do not have infinite time now then how do you manage to waste yourself away in buying colorful experiences of all shades the fellow will walk away with what he wanted to what are you left with a drained kitty and even more impoverished mind the parlor will prosper how about your life every transaction has to be made with just one goal in sight you know that goal right we need not name it again and again it is the name of the one who has no name that is the goal so before you enter into any transaction big or small ask yourself is this going to take me to the goal or at least closer to the goal and if not what am i doing in the shop rana nahi desh birana hai get this this shop is not for me ye sansar katan ki jhadi ulaj ulaj mar jana hai i'll just keep getting entangled and will bleed to death such is the nature of this marketplace 